We heard the Ace of Diamond Mines and on the first classified run. We got one right there. Herkimer Diamond. Crystal. Piece of calcite. Good start. Let's see what we get. There's Jen. There's the sluice. Dig the material from over there. Run it through a half inch and eighth inch classifier in the sluice. Bring it over to the table. Dump it out and sort through it. Number four. Okay, number four. Nice one right there. Got a bunch in there. Some lesser ones. Lots of fun. Okay, number five. There's another good one. Number five. Pan number five, that is. So after picking through all of the crystals we found, there's about a hundred of them there. I counted them really quick, about a hundred. Only about 12 of them made the cut to be jewelry. And some of them are a little bit iffy. They should all be, be okay for jewelry, but some of them, they look really good, but any little flaw, I don't like that when I wrap jewelry. To me, that's the first thing I see. But I guess that goes along with any any profession. The professional sees the imperfections where most modern folks won't even notice. 12 out of 100. Not too bad. We stayed at the Ace of Diamond Mines for a while. We got about 100 of them. I made a little video of that. I'll put that in in this video later on but we brought back some unwashed material a couple buckets of it and some wash material you can see the difference this has all been cleaned in the sluice up there it's not a normal sluice it's just like a washing station there's no reason to ever use a sluice for Herkimer diamonds because their specific gravity is really close to their host stone dolomites and limestones so close that you couldn't separate them out by gravity I figured I'd show you how I classify some of this material out. Jenny's gonna hold the camera and film this. That's a pretty good amount. I like to put it in the water, get it all wet. Make sure you break all these clay balls up. Get a little bit better. This is dried out, but when it's wet, it's easier. But you get right in there. You'll have sore fingers after a while unless you want to wear gloves. But you get in there and break it all up pretty good. And then make sure your half inch classifier is staying over your quarter, your eighth inch. And then I just I tilt it a little bit, to classify it. For some reason, that works a little bit better than having it flat. I think because of the rocks are rolling around on top of each other and it, it really helps. And I'll get in there and move them around a little bit. Help break that clay up. See, got clay in there. You gotta make sure you bust that up. It'll hide right in there. So get over top of the lower classifier. That looks good as far as clay being broken up. Take a quick look. I don't see anything. There's a piece with some calcite on it. I don't see no hurt to win. Now you got everything smaller than a half inch in here. So it's still really dirty. I like to just move it up and down, up and down like that. You can feel all the material moving in there. Just wash the water up and down and up and down. And just just washing all the dirt off them. You take it out, you dump it on a flat surface, spread them out, and you look for diamonds. See, there's one right there. A little one. Not a bad one. It's got a little inclusion there. But that's how we do it. 
better when the sun's shining on them, of course. Kind of gives them a sparkle, but there you go. That's how I like to wash rocks. Okay, second classifier from the dirt that I brought home. See one little one right there. And I see one right there. A lot of fun. Oh, maybe one right there also. Little baby ones, but they're cool to put in a little bottle and wrap into a necklace piece. Okay. We'll keep digging. So we got all that stuff that we brought home all taken care of and cleaned up. We got some for jewelry. That one might not make it. That one's a cool little long one. We got some that don't quite make it as jewelry. These little ones we can put in a little bottle, but we didn't do too bad. The ones that don't make it to jewelry will end up as giveaways or a little bit of bartering or selling here and there. But hope you liked the video. It's the second easiest way to get Herkimer diamonds at the Ace of Diamond Mines. Just work that sluice pile. First, the easiest way is to walk around and just scan with your eye and find them. Thanks for stopping in, sticking around. See you next time.